Are duplicate photos driving you nuts? Don't worry, there is a program out there that can help you get rid of them. Join me now, I'm gonna talk about Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro. Hi, my name is Molly and I've been helping people organize and preserve their photos for over 10 years. I have deleted probably billions of pictures and I couldn't do it without a great program like Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro. I wanted to just start off by looking at their website and telling you a little bit about getting it onto your computer. We are looking at the Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro website. On a Windows computer, you're going to just click download and then install it on your PC. Mac users, you can go to the App Store and get it there as well. The program is uh, $39.95 and occasionally you can find a 50% off coupon for it. It does renew annually, so keep that in mind. Uh, hopefully you can get this done in a year, right? Okay, let me just minimize that. And we are now looking at my desktop where I have the icon and I'm going to launch it. I want to point out these two folders in the top left, Photos to Organize and the Photo Estate folder. We teach a certain system to organizing your digital pictures. And if you want to know more, you can watch that video. We like to be systematic about the organization so that when it comes time to run Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro, we can make sure we're deleting the right duplicates. Let me just give you a little tour of this interface here. We're going to make it bigger and when it launches you're going to have an area to drag and drop your pictures in if you wanted. You can add photos down in the bottom left. You can add folders. You can even scan your entire computer by clicking the icon down here. I recommend starting off with, you know, uh, your pictures folder or some smaller batches to compare. On the right hand side, you're going to choose how you want the comparison to be done. You could click exact match. Most often we stick with similar match and you can Play around with the matching level and you'll see the comparison up here kind of demoing what that looks like. I usually start off a little higher. I don't worry about the bitmap size too much, but you can play with that as well. I check include rotated images because that's a common problem. And then I've got the folder in there. I just click scan for duplicates. Now my processing here is going pretty fast because I've already run it on the pictures folder. Yours is gonna take a little bit of time. Once it's done, it's gonna tell you how many duplicate photos were found. And you have the option to select the pictures manually or auto mark them. I'm gonna just start with auto mark because that's a lot faster. So it's auto marking the pictures for me. The ones that have the brown bottom are marked for deletion. And then the ones that are green are the ones that are gonna stay. Now, you can also play with this matching level in the top right corner, and that will change your results. So if you go all the way to the right, it's gonna find exact duplicates. So you can see here, this photo is 1.96 megabytes, and it is 1.96 megabytes. We wanna look a little bit more at the metadata and where the photos are located. It just helps you make sure you're deleting the pictures you want to delete because we want to keep the original digital photo if at all possible. So the way we do that is one, we look down at the bottom at the path of where the photo is. So I've clicked the left photo here and it is in the 2011 photos folder. And the one on the right is in a folder called scanned photos. So at some point I scanned these pictures and uh, I determined this was in 2011 as noted by it being in that folder. So I might wanna actually keep this picture. Anyway, you will wanna assess what you want to delete, all right? So knowing which folder you're deleting out of is helpful. And then also on the right-hand side, you have the photos metadata. So when you have this photo selected here, you can look at the metadata and see 
that folder name again. You can also see when it was created. And since this is a scanned photo, it might be not having the correct file created date. All right, but this gives you some information. And actually, you can dive down deeper and see the capture date, July 31st, 2011. Now, was that the original scan date? Well, that's the whole mystery of digital pictures. I want you to be aware of, you know, looking at this metadata because it helps you know which one to delete. And we'll just scroll down a little ways and see what else we have here. So here's another photo. It's a duplicate. It's in the iPhone photos. Uh, folder, and this one is in another iPhone photos copied over. So it's most likely an exact duplicate. We're going to be able to delete it. I'm going to just change that matching level again to show you. You can do that back and forth at any point. Now, we use that auto mark and we want to maybe change what is going to actually be marked for deletion based on, you know, what we saw here. So we can go to the top right here and click on selection assistant. And these tabs will help you tell the duplicate program which pictures to delete. So here, uh, the first thing that's listed is folder. It wants to mark a folder with higher priority. I don't care about that as much as I do the image size. So I'm going to click on image size. We want the largest sized photos. Okay, don't want any of the tiny ones with pixelation. And then I also want the capture date to be as good as possible. So notice I'm selecting it and I'm moving it up. Now, the pictures that have a newer capture date will be marked for deletion. That means it's going to capture the duplicates that lost their original date taken. Those are the two I worry about the most in this tab. Then under folder, you can see I put the pictures folder in here and all of these folders have a priority level, okay? And we might want some other photo folder to be a higher priority. So let's just say that this 2025 copied over, maybe I want that one to be more important. So what that means is it will mark the duplicates that are in the 2024 folder for deletion. And then there's protected folders. I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to click this three dots and I'm going to go to the pictures folder. And then we're going to we're going to protect the iPhone Android phone transfer. You can pick whatever would make sense to you if you want to protect a folder. I have to add that path folder so that it knows to protect those. And then I'm going to click mark. So now it's going to rethink how it marked the pictures and it might change some of what's selected. The point is, is you can use the selection assistant to help you in auto marking the pictures. You could also just go through them manually, although you can see 356 duplicate photos found at the bottom. It tells you how many groups there are. That could take a little bit. I'm hoping that you see how you could use Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro to delete pictures. So right now I'm going to click Delete Marked and click OK. And it's just deleted all of these pictures and uh, helped me clean up my folders. Once that's done, you can change the matching level and see what else comes up. So now you can see additional results are there and now when you look at like the puppy pictures here, you, the sizes are different. So let's just click auto mark and see how our settings worked. The larger size photos are going to be kept and that's what we want. So uh, we're going to click delete marked and now we've done it twice. If you want to run this program on a different folder, you'll click back and you're in this screen. You can hit the trash can to clear your, your screen for what you're going to add and then add another folder and continue on. Do you have any questions about Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro? I'd be happy to try and answer them. Throw them in the comments below and that's what I wanted to cover today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you the next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>